what are the three generations of enterprise data architecture? I was reading a very interesting article by Zemek Degrani, where she mentions that data lakes is too centralized. There has problems with that architecture and we should use data mesh. So I'm making first video in that series. In this video, we'll discuss what are the three generations of enterprise database architecture. The first generation of architecture started with proprietaries, ETL tools and business intelligence tools where enterprises paid a lot of money to buy some tools which was made which was supposed to make your data warehousing job very easy and they were pretty expensive solutions i remember in one of my client there was one solution was being sold by business intelligence tool like if you use the excel generated by that business tool and you forward to some another person so you have to pay some license fees that that uh, that guy he was scribbing who were who was going to sign that contract and he said when somebody very with smart brain came with that idea i said no somebody with smart brain sold the idea you can have crazy ideas but can you sell those the result of first generation enterprise data architecture was you had very complex ETL jobs, some table structures and reports, only very few people with special skills could understand. Then there came second generation of enterprise data architecture. In this, you built a data lakes which empowered the machine learning platform of your enterprise. Here you have very specialized data engineers who were building these monster lakes. And these monster lakes were useful for R&D analytics. Whether they provided value to the business, that is open to question. That we'll discuss in another video. What was the drawbacks of data lakes? In third generation, it came about real-time processing. You, you, were, you, you were feeding this data real time so that some analytics could understand. Then you, you were merging batch and real time information using some frameworks like Apache Beam. And also you leverage cloud for storing your data, running jobs, and also to support your machine learning platform. So this third generation did fill some gaps in the second generation, like real time, real time processing for analytics purpose, and also using cloud to reduce your storage cost for this platform. So in next video, we'll discuss uh, what are the drawbacks of having these centralized data lakes and how microservices kind of architecture can solve those problems according to this art very nicely written article written by uh jamaic the Ghani. so if you like this video like it share it and subscribe to this channel for your your regular updates also connect with me on linkedin and twitter especially linkedin if you like small summaries of the video I will be posting a lot of small summaries of the video on LinkedIn. Thanks again.